Good morning, sir. Let, let me ask you, first of all, about the, uh, about the quarter in terms of the coronavirus impact. Clearly, um, businesses across the globe were hit hard, but we started to see um, a, um, a recovery in a lot of them, and I wonder how your second quarter looked in those terms. Uh, yes, uh, we, we definitely see uh, improvement in the, in the last part of the quarter here, quarter two. Uh, but we, we, we have been impacted, uh, definitely. And the uh, Nordics has been uh, not so much impacted by, uh, by the coronavirus, uh, but we have seen impact in Central Europe, UK, and definitely in the US uh, as well. But as I said, it's uh, starting to ease up, but uh, we're, we're still... Uh, uh, we're not out of the woods when it comes to the pandemic. Mm. Yeah, good morning to you, Anders. I saw the operating profit number dropping some 69% year on year in the second quarter. Do you have, given what you've said about things slowly recovering through the quarter, do you have any visibility on what operating profit does for the second half of the year? Uh, we, we don't give a forecast on, on uh, the rest of the year, but uh, I can say that uh, the underlying profitability in construction actually improved uh, because we had some positive one-off effect in the last year in the second quarter, and this year we have been impacted somewhat uh, from the pandemic. So uh, the, the uh, strategy remains that uh, we, we are determined to continue to improve the profitability in the construction stream and also to remain our strong position in residential development and also to grow our uh, commercial development for, as uh, the market allows us to do that. You know, I, I wonder in that case about your order book, um, we've seen a huge increase clearly in uh, employees working from home, and it makes me think that maybe commercial development isn't going to be as big in, in the second half. However, our um, analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence says that your order backlog has returned to a near record high. Um, can you give us any color about your expectations in that sense for the second half? Yeah, the, that's right. We, we have a very strong order, order backlog right now. Uh, we did see uh, a slower second quarter uh, when it com comes to order intake, especially in, uh, uh, if you, uh, if you ta take out the uh, high speed two, the, which uh, helped a lot, of course. And that, that was a great uh, order we got there uh, dur during the second quarter. But uh, ex beside that, it was uh, quite slow in the rest of Europe and also slow uh, in the U.S. The Nordic uh, is uh, okay when it comes to water intake in the second quarter, so I'm I'm uh, confident uh, with the, I'm not concerned over the order backlog going forward. I'm, uh, I'm uh, but we're following the market very carefully, of course, and uh, I'm I still believe uh, I I believe we will be impacted during the rest of the year uh, by the pandemic. Mm. Anders, yes, so that's, that's on the construction side of things. You're also a developer, of course. So how is it going with disposing of some of the commercial developments that, that you're finishing? Has that market been hit considerably in the second quarter? Yeah, we, we, uh, we saw from going from a record, record high first quarter uh, when it comes to commercial development, uh, uh, we had a record high gain of sales. So uh, the second quarter was uh, quite slow when, when it comes to leasing. We see we didn't see a lot of transaction in the market uh, either, so uh, it's a bit of uh, difficult to tell where the market is going right now. So we we just have to continue to work hard with uh, our uh, leasing activities to make sure that we um, uh, can start new projects. But uh, we are we did have uh, a couple of weeks ago a record lease in Warsaw uh, when it comes to square meters. So that was, uh, of course, uh, encouraging. But I, I, I do believe that uh, we have a good position when it comes to our, uh, our occupancy rate is uh, high and uh, in, also in line with our completion, completion rate. So we have a good position there and we have a strong balance sheet, a strong cash uh, flow. So, uh, uh, we are in a good position to take the opportunity when they show up in the market going forward.
Uh, Anders, can I ask a question, considering the political um, uh, intensity that we see between the U.S. and China, between the U.K. and China, indeed the EU and China have issues as well. What kind of investment do you have in terms of Chinese money in Western projects? I mean, how active are they, and, and have you seen that reduced? Uh, we, we haven't been uh, uh, so impacted by that. Uh, when, when it comes to, I mean, our, our own uh, product development, commercial development, there's a lot of uh, lot of European uh, investors, a lot of American investors. So we have plenty of investors interested in, in our project. So we haven't been uh, suffered from that. And that goes from uh, if you talk about the, the trade trade uh, trade war, if you will, uh, between those countries, uh, that hasn't impacted us either. For example, one example is uh, the, the all uh, pretty much all. Uh, public uh, projects in the U.S., uh, we buy American. That's the uh, condition in, in, in those contracts. Uh, and that's uh, every, every, all competitors have the same condition. So that doesn't really impact us. 